Hey, it's Doug. Welcome to Backcountry Pilgrim, a channel all about hiking, camping, backpacking, and the gear that goes with it. Today, I'm going to be taking my very first look at the Thermarest Neo Air X Lite and see if it is going to replace my Nemo Tensor. I picked up the Nemo Tensor in 2019 when REI had it on sale and I had my discount coupon. I got this thing for 50 bucks. Now, this was the non-insulated pad, which wasn't my first choice, but I didn't really think I would mind it that much for the money because at the time, this was considered one of the very best sleeping pads you could get. I've used it for two years now in California, Michigan, Kentucky. It has never failed me. It's been very comfortable and I haven't had any problems with the cold. It's just been a great pad for me. But I'm kind of a stomach sleeper, so I've always got a knee sticking off the pads, touching the tent, getting cold, arms sticking out. Recently, a buddy of mine called me up and said, hey, Amazon has this crazy deal going on the Thermarest Neo Air X Lite, which is pretty much the main competition in the backpacking world for the Nemo Tensor. Now, this one was running about $150, but it's the extra tall, extra wide version of the X-Lite, and I just thought I wanted to give it a try. To compare some of the main specs, the Nemo Tensor is a 72 by 20 pad, which is pretty standard, but it is three inches thick, weighs 13 ounces. It is often considered the most comfortable pad on the market. Now this pad has an R value of 1.6, which means that for most people it's basically a summer sleeping pad. However, I am a very hot sleeper and I haven't had any trouble with it whatsoever. The Neo Air X Lite by Thermarest is a 77 by 25 inch pad, so it is quite a bit bigger. It's two and a half inches thick and it weighs in at one pound. It has a space blanket type material inside, giving it an R value of 4.2, which makes it a pretty solid three season sleeping pad. I have never tried this out. I'm literally going to open the box right now, blow it up and see how it feels compared to the Nemo Tensor and see whether or not I'm gonna hang on to it. All right. Comes with a nice little stuff sack. Lots and lots of paperwork. And it comes with an inflation sack. This should be fun. I've never actually tried one of these. So what you do is you pop this on to the end here, and then you use the bag to blow it up. So that'll be fun. I'm gonna very carefully remove the tag here. I will not be having to put my mouth on this. So let's see, we've got this valve on here. This should hook up to this. Okay, so if this works like the Nemo Tensor, you just turn this to get the valve open. Yep, close and push it to get it closed. Okay, looks pretty straightforward. I'm gonna set it up and blow it up. Could read the instructions, but what fun would that be? Ah, okay, so this gets popped on. I'm not going to blow into it. I'm just gonna fill it up with air and roll it down. Okay, so one of the first things I'm noticing is these don't seem to be that different in length. So I'm going to actually measure the Thermarest from the lowest baffle. It's coming in at 75 inches. It's supposed to be 77. The tensor is right at 70. So we're only talking about a 5 inch difference. It's 24 wide, which is correct. This should be 20. It's 20. All right, so right off the bat, I'm noticing that the pad is not quite as big as advertised. You've pretty much got to go to the edge of the little ruffle here to get 77 inches out of this thing, but 75 is not bad. So the first thing I'm noticing is that it's pretty loud, but oh, I can get my knee on. This is huge. It's slipping a little bit. But even clear on the edge like this, I don't feel like I'm falling off. It's got plenty of room. My foot isn't going to fall off here. I got room for a pillow here. Got room for my knee here. Just tons of room. Feels good. My heels are just falling off the bottom. And I've got, gosh, tons of room up here. This is actually quite a bit more than I probably really need. 
but it's quite comfortable. It's a different feel. It definitely feels more bouncy than the Nemo Tensor. You can see right to the edge here, knee is going to come off onto the floor. I don't like that. It is quite a bit quieter. In fact, it makes almost no noise at all on its own. Lengthwise, got plenty, but I can just feel it. It's just, it's obvious that it just ends almost right exactly at the width of my body here. So any kind of motion whatsoever, and I roll off. I would say that they both do about equally well. As far as the hips go, both feel fine. I'm not poking through with my elbow or my hip. On either one, really. I think this is going to be a little more difficult of a decision than I thought it would be. Well, to be honest, I had hoped that the decision would be a little simpler. I'm a little disappointed in the length of this, but I think it'll actually keep the weight down. It is loud and crinkly, but having my knee not hit the ground when I'm rolling around is a big plus. Comfort-wise, I didn't notice that much of a difference between the two. Maybe I would give the tensor the edge there, but the uh, X-Lite is plenty comfortable. And the fact that the X-Lite has an R value of 4.2, does kind of give it an edge, especially here in California where it can get very cold. Not that I do a lot of really super cold backpacking and I do sleep pretty hot, but it is kind of nice knowing that I've got that bit of insulation there if I need it. So am I replacing my Nemo Tensor with the Thermarest Neo Air X Lite? I don't know. I'm going to have to give it some thought, but I hope that this video has helped you maybe make a decision if you're considering the two pads. If the video has been helpful to you, would you mind giving it a like and subscribe to Backcountry Pilgrim if you are into hiking, camping, backpacking, and the gear that goes with it. Click the bell if you want to be notified when new videos come out. Until next time, I'm Doug. Thank you for watching.